Without Australian parts, those Israeli fighter jets could not fly and bomb Palestine, but Australia continues to send them and build them and produce them. Australia produces the hard armoured steel that's used in Israeli fighting vehicles that are in Gaza now. We, use, we produce the steel that goes in armoured vehicles that are being used by settler militias in the West Bank. Yeah. Obscenely, an Australian company, Raphael, uh, Bali Raphael, makes critical components for the Spike missile, the Israeli Raphael company's Spike missile. The Spike missile is an obscene weapon that's designed to puncture through the concrete walls of residential buildings with a payload of shrapnel to kill everybody inside. The control, the control system for that is made in part in Australia and shipped to Israel as part of their global supply chain. Australia makes drones and drone engines which are now sold to the IDF used to help target Palestinian targets in the war on Gaza. And they celebrate it and they want Australia to be one of the top 10 arms export company, countries in the world. An obscene ob ambition for Australia. I think one of the things that many people have asked about is what's the evidence about Australia's arms exports and weapons exports? Well, the great bulk of the evidence comes from the government itself. Uh, DFAT, foreign affairs official figures, show more than $10 million of arms and ammunition exports to Israel in the last five years. More than 350 weapons export permits granted. And when you look at the corporations themselves, they celebrate the fact that they are sending armour steel for, uh, for Israeli tanks and armoured personnel carriers key parts for the spike missile, that appalling missile that's killing Palestinian kids, critical parts for the F-35 fighter jets. And, and what is really galling is that you often see pictures of Labor senior ministers, including the Prime Minister, at the very factories that make these weapons parts. And then we get Foreign Affairs Minister Penny Wong gaslighting Australia by saying there are no weapons exports from Australia to Israel in the last five years. We've been lied to. It is actually time to hold this government to account and get it to stop telling lies, get it to get on board for a free Palestine, get it to stop sending arms to Israel.